This is the moment of the year. After the Hall of Fame is over, after I went to the Hall of Fame and blowtorched the place like it was the end of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, <laughs> and Rick after all of that is over and an entire week of preseason football is in the books, we know we're getting football back. We know it is here. We know college football is right around the corner. We know there's stuff to overreact to. We know there's stuff to freak out about, like 17 Dallas Cowboys penalties. We know those things are out there. And you take a deep breath, and then you exhale once the Super Bowl is over. That's the way my world goes, and I could not be more excited about it. And then there's always something that happens in the first preseason week that has some long-lasting impact where you know this is going to affect matters week one and potentially beyond, if not deep into the season. And I'm not talking about quarterback competitions or rookies that shine. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the freaking New York Jets having a curse hanging over them. <laughs> I'm going there out there in my day off, my remaining time off. Odd that your curb your enthusiasm phone music goes off just as I talk about the Jets. Rich, I'm sorry, but that was my mom literally texting me going, nice color shirt, Rich. Thank like, you. Right now. I appreciate <laughs> so, it. I'm about to turn a different shade of green, though. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm sitting there just enjoying my time off, my last Friday night off. I can remember. I don't know the next time I'm going to have a Friday night off. Sitting around. My phone goes crazy. Why? Why is Zach Wilson trending? Could it have been a cougar sighting wow. in New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it only was that. If only. <laughs> if it was only Stifler's mom. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's Zach Wilson following up his first possession of throwing an interception with a non-contact injury on the knee that he had problems with last year and habitually. Running for his life in a preseason game. Throw it away, Zach, you might be thinking. He should be thinking. Since it's preseason, since he's had knee problems, since it's just the preseason, this isn't even the Snoopy Bowl on the line that Rex Ryan had his quarterback Mark Sanchez played deep into the game only for him to suffer an injury that caused a problem in the regular season that ensued. No, it's just the Jets getting out there and starting their quarterback and needing him to follow up with a bit more positive before he's out for the game because he throws an interception that looked like he was a rookie. Oh, this is after the defense gave up a touchdown to the Philadelphia Eagles and also blew up. Jalen Hurts on the sideline like they're playing for the Super Bowl, causing Nick Sirianni to curse a blue streak at Robert Sala across the field in a way that made everybody blush. And he had every right to, and Sala even said after the game, essentially, our bad. But Zach Wilson's out two to four weeks, unless, of course, uh, they open his knee up and, and we see something more. Good news, Jets fans, is uh, the surgeon who's doing that knee is uh, the great uh, Neil Elitrosh. And uh, I can personally attest, he's great. Uh, he did Susie's knee just a couple of years ago. Oh. Yeah, so, and look at her. Look at her. She would start week one right now if she could. <laughs> <laughs> but she won't. She would have thrown it away and slid. She won't. She won't. <laughs> because guess what? It's apparently Joe Flacco time, which is exactly what Jet fans have been clamoring for for a long time. I want to see Joe Flacco. I want to see a 37-year-old Joe Flacco go against a Ravens team that is going to have a fork and a knife out with their rookie, Kyle Hamilton, who's going to be fresh as a daisy. Fresh as a daisy. That team's going to come with Lamar. Lamar versus Joe. The kid who wants deposed Joe Flacco and Balmer. Oh, yeah, exactly what we Jets fans were thinking about on draft night when we got Sauce 
and we got Garrett Wilson, who did look terrific, and uh, Jermaine Johnson and Brees Hall, we were thinking, yes, we want a Joe Flacco revenge game week one to start us all off. That's exactly what we want. Come on. As the Jets start off as if they're an AFC North team, Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Steelers. That'll be Joe Flacco. Hey, it'll be like a, a one big hashtag TBT. A throwback Thursday for the first month of the season. Flacco back in the AFC North, unless he's running for his life because Makai Becton, their first draft choice of the previous year before Zach Wilson, he's, um, what you gonna call it? out for the year again so there's that well actually it was the same draft as Zach so got that yeah. going for him yeah. which is nice yeah. you gotta be freaking kidding me I can't believe it this is why quarterbacks don't play in the preseason that's why you don't play them don't play them it's total 2020 hindsight I mean you got so many of these moving parts and Zach Wilson coming back but running for his life throwing that pick and then running for his life it's just that's all we've heard over the last few months is how he's matured or hanging with mature people and well. doing his business <laughs> and becoming a more veteran presence. <laughs> and his first drive, it looked like he didn't learn a thing. And then his second drive, he's running for his life. And out goes the knee. So uh, here's the deal. Uh, I know we've got a lot going on around these parts, guys. But after the show... We're going to go up to the marina. Really, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, from yeah, there. it's, it's easy. Not very far. Can we take it's your boat? Like right can yes. we take your boat? We can take my Fantastic. boat. Fantastic. We right we'll in take there. your boat, and we'll go up to uh, Neil Elatrosh's office. I know exactly where it is. I know exactly where this is going to take place, because that's where I, I once dropped Susie off and picked her up. Fuel's actually cheaper up there, too. I know, I know exactly where to go. I know exactly where to go. I know exactly where to go. Actually, the, 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 the place in which this may happen... Uh, maybe closer to LAX, actually. So what we'll do is it, it's still just a hop, skip, and a jump from here. Yeah, we can go. We're going to go there, and let's bring some food, right? Some food. I got a fridge. Um, let's get what, – what, what else should we bring? Some charcuterie. Definitely need ah, a charcuterie. Maybe, maybe some charcuterie. Maybe some I love charcuterie. We can just, like, bring right? a blanket and just – Some good, old, out. Some good old Dr. Oz crudite. We That's could do that. Interesting fantasy If name. you've got 20 bucks <laughs> – because it's apparently very expensive these days. Crudite. I'm in a mood, folks. I'm in a mood. He's well rested. Because everybody, all of, every time we think, well, who's we're we? out. Who's we? Jets fans. Okay, great. Because none of us are. Every time <laughs> we're not the we. we think we're out. I'm laughing. Every what? time we think we're out, you got the football gods go. pull us back in. I mean, it's so I don't know what we got to do, who we got to sacrifice, what we got to do. But at least the news isn't he was out for a year, which is what everybody thought for a right. good six hours. Oh, yeah. I was getting I, I was getting texts like I was, you know, sitting Shiva. Oh, you thought you were getting Look Jimmy G up. for a second. Huh? I thought Jimmy G was coming for a second. I did. Oof. And I would have wanted that. Joe Flacco, I'm telling you, I hope I'm wrong. What happened to the Mike White experience? What happened to him? I didn't want to bring that up. Passing it over? Because, no, because I know that's a problem between the two. I mean, that caused our only riff, so I didn't want to bring that. Our only riff. Our only riff. Where is he? Is he still on the scene? He was on always there. He's third string, Brooklyn. He played behind Flacco? Yeah. He was the first. No, he was the first guy to come off the bench when Zach got hurt. Okay, but he's But everyone's talking about it's Flacco's gig, right? Yeah, you got Robert Sala. Here's what Robert Sala had to say about all of this over the weekend. I think he's going to be fine, especially we'll, and uh, uh, for the remainder of preseason. We'll see everything else with Zach's knee and how that comes out. But uh, we got all the faith in the world in, in Joe. Um, he played last year his first start against Miami, who was absolutely rolling, and he threw for over 300 yards uh, at home. Uh, obviously, we didn't win, but um, but he did what he needed to do, is, and, they, and the offense played the way it needed to play. Um, you know, so he's he's a pro. He's going to figure out how to get it done. He is a pro, and he is a vet, and he knows the offense, and he knows but what he isn't is very mobile. And Dwayne Brown is now coming to play left tackle. George Fant, thanks for playing left tackle for a bit. 
Uh, you're now right tackle. Let's put it all together. I don't know, man. This is not what I was looking forward to. This is not what I was thinking. This is not what I was hoping. That's why I didn't do the win-loss game for the Jets. You never do the win-loss game for the Jets until the last possible second. Because <laughs> we're going to open up Zach Wilson's knee, and hopefully all is just to trim here and a cut there, and then we're done. And we get the two weeks, and maybe he starts week one. I don't know. It seems best case scenario from what we know, though, right? Let me like, tell you who's not starting week one. Zach Wilson. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm laughing at it. I'm just laughing no, no, at the okay. situation. I'm not laughing at the No, no, no. Go ahead. No, no, I'm, go I'm, ahead. I'm laughing. Very good. <laughs> See, that's him, not me. I, I don't, I don't want laughing. that karma hey, coming at least back. the Jets have, they know who their play caller is, and it's just one assistant. Eh. At least we know that.